Hi Aquarius, welcome to your bonus reading for June 2023. I'm going to pull some messages for you guys. This will be 18 plus. Thank you so much. The reason why I'm doing this bonus reading for you is because you guys got the most views for your June love predictions. So I really appreciate that. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender. Any and all negativity. No up mass home against me shall prosper. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of love, light, hope, and wealth, and protection. Take me to the white light of protection. Close all doors so no negativity can sin. And only the ones I'm called upon are welcome here. Return to sender. Any and all negativity. No up mass home against me shall prosper. I'll shade. Please give me clear on this message is for Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Wherever you might have Aquarius in your chart, okay? Not every card or message may um, resonate. This could have already happened, could be happening now, could be predictive. Um, I want to take the messages that resonate. Baby, I got some extra food if you want some. Huh? I got some extra food if you want some. From where? Um, Hawaiian bros. Okay. Oh, oh, excuse me. You don't like Hawaiian bros anymore? You the one who put me on. Now you don't even like it. I can't even enjoy it with you. Yeah. Oh, they have that? Okay. Yeah, they did a buy one, get one free. So I got two plates. I got the pig and the, I think a huli huli. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? I'm going to save it for tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. okay. I just want some bread. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, Aquarius. Okay, so. Let me go ahead and pull some messages for you, Aquarius. And let's see what we got going on. What jumped out was the Ace of Cups. So there's new love coming in for you guys. It's coming. I know y'all been waiting. Y'all been waiting and waiting and waiting. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's get some overall energy for you guys in June. June 2023. June. Okay, this oracle is going to be for the whole month of June. Then I'll put some tarot cards to break down um, the remaining weeks of June. Okay. All right. This is for Aquarius. What's going on Aquarius? for Aquarius in June? Okay. So you guys could be dealing with the Pisces, Sagittarius, or a Libra, or have any of that in your chart. It says balance, spirituality, and practicality. This is for the month. So make sure you guys balance spirituality, balance practicality. Make sure there's a balance within your life. And all of these cards are like dualities. Pisces is two fish. Sagittarius represents that balance as well, temperance. And then Libra represents the scales. All in moderation, all balance here for the month of June. Luck is on your side here. Find out where Sagittarius is in your chart. We just had a Sagittarius full moon as well. I also did do a Sagittarius full moon reading to see how it's affecting you guys as well in love, career, and your general life. So go check that reading out. It's going to be linked in the description box. And also there's a win-win outcome that's forecast for you. So for June, you guys are balancing out spirituality, practicality. Luck is on your side for the month of June. There's a win-win outcome forecast for you. So June could be starting this win-win outcome. I'm not sure if it's in money, love, legality, whatever for you, Aquarius. But remember, there's a win-win outcome for you guys. So I don't feel like there's anything you guys need to worry about. Okay, let's get some messages. All right, this is for Aquarius, June 2023. Okay, simplifying your life. I cherish the simple pleasures of life. So clean up the clutter. Okay, you guys, make sure you get under your bed, get in your closet, wipe your mirrors, clean your TV, whatever it is you need to clean and simplify. A lot of those stuff that you got in your house that you ain't even using, you just got it there. Donate it, do something, do something with it, okay? Enjoy the simple things in life. The simple things in life is just enjoying, okay, you know what, God, I might not be in a good situation, but I woke up today. You know, I'm not homeless sitting on the corner or, you know, I might be in an uncomfortable situation. Some people might even have some legal things going on now, but I'm not, you're alive if you're, you're able to see this, okay? Just remember, things could be worse, y'all. It really could be. 
okay? And I'm not trying to invalidate you. People go through stuff, and you might be going through stuff right now. That's why I keep hearing the need to tell you. Things are happening that's going to help you, benefit you. Luck is on your side. You're not going to be in this uncomfortable spot too much longer. Just stay balanced. Simplify your life, okay? Allow new energy to come in for you. All right. I keep one. I keep hearing Libra it might be a Libra in your energy. You might have Libra in your chart. So that's for the month. Okay. What's today? Today is the the 10th. So we're in the first week of June. Let's do Let's pull a card for the first week, second week, third week, fourth week, fourth week of June. It's four weeks in June, ain't it? Well, the three of swords came out for the first week. So the beginning of the month, you guys might be feeling sad, helpless, heartbroken like things are just not going your way at all okay you guys are very defensive okay that's the first week of june what about the second week okay there's some endings transformations a tower moment but what you don't know is things are going to be getting better communication good news with the eight of wands traveling getting out of feeling sad heartbroken okay getting out of the confusion Whatever is not balanced is going to be balanced now. Third week of June. Y'all got a lot coming out. Third week of June, a win-win alchemist forecast. Keep fighting and advocating for yourself. Okay, be confident. Be stable. Good news, reasons to celebrate, communication. There's, if there's anything legal going on, you win. And here's that money, that stability, that contentment, whatever it is here. Okay, all right, third week of June, please. Okay, eight might be important, eight of pentacles, eight of wands. So, so you might be getting that new job that you applied for, getting good news like I mentioned. You guys are traveling. Okay, there's a decision or a connection that's here to help you. So you could be meeting somebody, a faded encounter is what I'm hearing. This don't have to be in love, but what I'm seeing is if you are heartbroken or you're disappointed in love or you got bad news or maybe you broke up with somebody, there's going to be something that's going to transform, okay? Maybe that tower needed to happen so you can move forward in your life and you're moving forward in the third week of June. Okay, fourth week, last week of June for Aquarius. Okay, yeah, you guys are walking away. A lot of eight coming out. Eight of wands, eight of pentacles, eight of cups. Simplifying your life, clearing out the clutter. Maybe you guys are finally deleting those old texts, deleting those old pictures, um, getting that person's old stuff out of your house. Get the energy out of your house, okay? Whatever it is, um, moving, getting a new job, deleting old emails, whatever it is that's gonna simplify your life and help you move forward, it's bringing in contentment, self-love, Gaining back control over your life. And you are really loving and nurturing yourself. That's bringing in a lot of more love. A lot of more people, situations, experiences that are loving. Okay. So I like it. This looks nice. I know it's been taking some time, but you, you're going to be able to feel the change, feel the shift, see your ships coming in. So I see air, Scorpio, earth, fire, Aries, water. Okay. All right. So let's see any new love that could possibly be coming in June. New love. Any new love for Aquarius? Let's 
see a lot of air, so a lot of communication. You could be talking to somebody, emailing, writing, texting back and forth. Alright, new love for Aquarius. We'll see who this person is, their intentions, and the possible outcome. Over our energy, there is somebody new. It could be a water sign. Okay. Excuse me. Y'all know how y'all get so hungry, y'all just be burping and stuff. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, thank God. All right. Who is this person? A two of pentacles. Could be a Capricorn. We'll get some clarification on this. This person could be very busy. Their intentions. The four of wands. To be in a relationship with you. Have something stable with you. Possible outcome. The ace of swords. Y'all gonna come up with the, a plan. Okay. A game plan on how y'all gonna make this work. How y'all gonna um, start talking or whatever it is y'all. Whatever it is y'all come to an agreement on. Y'all are talking and y'all want to... Go ahead and find some type of way to do it. There's three new beginnings here. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords with Temperance. Could be with the Sagittarius and the Ace of Wands. All of the Aces are coming out. This is something new. Give yourself that time. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Why is this person coming up as the Two of Pentacles? It could be an Earth sign. Okay. Now, this, I don't want to say this person plays the field, but when you meet this person, yes, they're going to be single. Yes, they play the field. Okay, yes, this person might be kind of on and off a little wishy-washy. But for some reason, I'm seeing you guys getting to know each other. That Either you're, you're finding some type of wish fulfillment and happiness or they are with you, vice versa. Okay, Two of Pentacles, this person is all about their money. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You okay? Yeah. All right, this person is all about their money. That's what I'm seeing. Now, this person might just now be getting out of something with somebody else, Aquarius. Because we do have another woman here. So, I'm feeling like, okay, this person, they probably have a go-to person. This is the go-to person, the Queen of Wands. With the lovers, they have a go-to person. But what I'm seeing is there's something ending here. And the Queen of Swords, yeah, I feel like they done with this type of ish, though. What I'm seeing is there's somebody that's single and they practice their singlehood actively. Um, but their intentions is they do want something stable so while you guys are getting to know each other aquarius you know you know what i'm finna say make sure you have your options open as well okay the same energy they own you do that too yes you're guarding yourself yeah you're in this to get what you want out of it yeah all of that okay i'm seeing you guys are aligning in some type of way though aquarius and for some reason, you guys are just beating out the competition. So whatever it is you're doing, just continue to be you. Stay balanced. Okay, a win-win outcome is forecast. Cherish the simple pleasures in life. Luck is on your side, Aquarius. I don't really feel like there's nothing too much you need to do. Just continue on transforming on your path, enlightenment, loving yourself. There's so many gifts that spirit is having Uh coming towards you here all right i did say this was gonna be 18 plus cover your ears bb <laughs> okay what we got all right so we do have quickie that's coming out for you aquarius y'all could be having quickies in the month of june somebody somebody wants to try something new in bed somebody probably wants to have drunk sex with you guys somebody likes doing oral as well you are this person Somebody is talking to their family about you. Somebody is talking to their family about y'all situation. All right. Somebody said you're the best they ever had, Aquarius. Okay, somebody said, I still want you. I'm still in love with you. It could be an Aries. Ooh, Aries kept coming out. So there's an Aries that still wants you, still in love with you. All right. And then we got, I'm um, wrapped around your finger here. Somebody said they want to be with you tonight. 
Aquarius. All right, give me two more messages and we out. Y'all doing it unprotected, Aquarius. Y'all watch out now. Y'all watch out now. Do what you want in life, but y'all watch out now. Okay, last one. What this say? Okay, they said they want they want to be the only one that makes you get to where you're trying to go when y'all are doing adult things. Y'all can read. <laughs> All right, Aquarius. Let's read the signs and I, I'm done with y'all. So we got earth, fire, air. A lot of earth, y'all. Water, air. Okay, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Thank you guys again. You guys got the most views on your June love predictions. Thank you for that. Always continue to look at the community tab. Um, I see Pisces, Sagittarius, and Libra as well. Until I see you guys again, check out your other readings. That's in the description box. You can book personal readings with me. Donate to the channel. I'm going to link a GoFundMe link in there to help um, my best friend and her family. Her mom passed. Also, my that's my godmom just passed. Um, check that out if you don't mind donating. Even if it's just words of encouragement and support, I appreciate that. Until I see you guys again, y'all be safe. Peace.